you, you know, the, the dwell time is interesting because I saw a recent study. The dwell time used to be months and months before they yeah. initiated the attack. And now it seems like, and I thought that was amazing. I thought that the fact that they could be in your network sort of hanging around for months, I thought that was amazing. But I think what's yeah. even more amazing to me now and a little concerning is it's not months, it's getting to be days. Not that we're finding them, but that they can do what they need to do a lot quicker totally. than they used to. Totally. And Bill, I think that's really two things. Number one is it's the type of payload they're launching. What we're seeing is, is an increase of whole system or whole VM or virtual machine encryption attacks. So when they do encrypt, they're taking down whole systems, not just getting inside of uh, one system and encrypting files within it. That just takes too long. And I think the, the vector of attack or the style of attack is just predicated on the fact that cyber criminals are not really interested in working hard. That's why they became criminals. Easy path to revenue. So they're finding ways, to your point, to get in and do work immediately, do damage immediately. Also, the overwhelming amount of breaches, you know, back in the day would be more brute force. Now it's socially engineered MFA attacks. It makes it even harder on security operation centers and security professionals because it looked like benign or typical traffic by authenticated users with proper credentials. So I think that's another reason why they can increase the time it takes to get the, to the ransom note because now they have the permissions and the credentials to be able to do that. So we're seeing that a lot too. And that's why these, you know, analytics tools later on top really help try to figure out what happened and what the source of the breach was.